Lovely weather, beautiful stadium, the Zignali Duna Park here in Dortmund. My name is Derek Ray, with me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And we're in position and ready to bring you live action from the German top flight, the Bundesliga. It is Borussia Dortmund up against Hoffenheim. Yeah, thanks Derek, looking forward to a bright, lively start in this one. Quick tempo, who can be the dominant force in the first 20 minutes? They could get the upper hand in this one. Well, he's had an excellent career for himself and still going strong, Andrei Kramaric. Lee, what do you expect we'll see from him today? Well, when you're playing against a player, sometimes you're trying to look at what his qualities are. Is he a good hold-up player? Is he quick? Is he this? Is he that? But when somebody tells you he's a finisher, you know you're in big trouble. is the lineup for Dortmund. Roman Burki begins in goal. Rafael Guerrero starts with Thomas Munier as fullbacks and they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. A look at the initial 11 for Hoffenheim. You know, many in the media have been talking quite loudly about their style of play and not everybody being kind about it. There are many who suggest it's negative. How do you see it, Lee? Well, listen, Derek, takes all types of play, different formations. Coaches try and adapt a system, soaking up the pressure, getting everybody behind the ball and hitting teams on the counter-attack. He's probably on the cards for this team today. Torgan Azar. Now Holland. Delaney. Chan. And somehow he prevents a goal. Well, it looked a certain goal, Derek. The agility, the reflex is unbelievable. Guerrero with the corner. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Torgan Azar. Emery Jan now. Mini eight. Jaden Sancho. Marco Royce. And here's Delaney. Suffice it to say, his edge is blunt. Poor effort. Well, he got a lot right there, but he got one thing wrong, and that was the finish. John. Baumgartner. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Marco Reis. On to Holland. And it's a quality pass. Well, the flag has gone up. It was really close. <laughs> Samaseku. Gacinovic with it and Borussia Dortmund come away with it Marco Reus well read to put an end to that attack good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch tremendously strong in the tackle not a successful intervention winning the ball back Sancho Oh, great defending. So, a deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. <laughs> Over it comes. Clears it away.
Torgan Azar. Strong but fair tackle. Holland. Sancho now. Not far away at all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique. And oh, so close. Rice. Now the Schwarz-Gelben might be able to cash in. And a tidy challenge. Cassie Adams. Promising looking attack. We can take another look here. I'm sure the keeper is frustrated with the defending. Just afforded too much time in the box, and he's never going to miss that. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? As they restart the game, how will Borussia Dortmund reply to that setback? Holland. Dortmund in total control of possession, but after that, it's been disappointing. I'd like to see them use those wide areas around the defence, get round them, I suppose, to trying to go through the middle. Baumgartner perfectly positioned to take it away Rudy giving the ball away surely the equaliser and just like that it's gone in Borussia Dortmund suddenly are level Well, here's the goal again, and he's just been caught napping, hasn't he? Had his pocket picked, rightly punished, schoolboy stuff. A chance to revisit the goal. So, a level contest, 1-1. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Good ball to switch the play. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Not to be too blunt about it, but this has been a struggle for him up front, Lee. Well, as we can see with the movement he showed today, I think I could mark him, and I'm 55. Too much waving of arms and blaming of others. His team needs a winner, and he's their main man. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Jaden Sancho. Emre Can. Now Holland. 
Holland. And players waiting in the centre. Delaney. Holland. Here's Royce. And return to Sancho. Royce. Again here, the damage he started with a beauty of a through ball, and he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when he's hit that hard. As they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Baumgartner. Did well to win the ball back. Marco Royce. Well, it could be on for him here. Here is the replay, and to be fair, the keeper from that distance hasn't got much chance of keeping it out. Lovely goal. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Just not looking confident in possession. Dortmund have had the lion's share of possession and all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's why they're winning. And that's why they're one of the best teams. Mijat Gacinovic. They're really pressing their opponents. Pressing high to win the ball. Marco Reis. And now passing it through. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Over the touchline for a throw in. Delaney, and on to Bellingham, Sancho, and a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot, penalty coming up. Well that could be his final rebuke I think, and the referee's making that absolutely clear. Well, I like that Derek, good refereeing, nice and strong, told the player exactly what he was thinking. Well they've decided to make a change. myself for many a year I used to love this part when it hits the back of the net not so great when you miss one though
goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Kevin Vogt. Vogt. Rudy. Grilic now. Kramaric. And in with a real chance. And a goal here. There it is. They've done it. Well, this is worth another look, Derek. Lovely movement and guile to easily evade the defender. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Substitution it is for Dortmund. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Dabur. Rudy. Oh, that's a fine pass. Miat Gacinovic. Rudy. Can they make one of these passes count? Could pull one back here. In it goes! It looked as though they were down and out. Not a bit of it. What will happen next? Well, here's the replay, and they do say a keeper should never be beaten in his near post. And he's made that error, and he's been punished. Big mistake for me. And if you enjoy high-scoring contests, this has been the game for you. Well, Dortmund just have to try and hang on here. The fans are trying their best to see them over the line. Holland. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Possession changing hands. And take it away. And he's found a bit of daylight. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for. And he's come up with it. Well, here it is again. The through ball is perfectly tied. He causes havoc, and once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. One minute remaining. The end of the game then, officially, and a victory for the Schwarz-Gelben. Lee, how did you see it? Well, there's no doubt about the winner in the end and fully deserved for me. The fans can go home happy today, Derek. 
Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, 9 out of 10.